Hello, my name is Otis Shelton, ASAT President, and I'm here at the 10th Annual Global Cognition Process Safety with our keynote legend speaker, Dr. Jay Hunter-Droy. He's the Health, Safety, Environmental, and Corporate Sustainability Group at Petronas in Malaysia. Welcome, Dee. Thank you. The title of your talk today, Dee, is Process Safety Implementation, Challenges and Success Stories. I'd like to ask you a couple of questions. Uh, first, in your experience with Petronas, what has been one of the most challenging aspects of process safety? There's a lot of challenges uh, okay. with respect to transportation risk, security, and um, people diversity. Mm -hmm. um, all these need to be factored in when you mm -hmm. want to run a process safety program mm -hmm. in wherever you operate. And people look at, people think through things differently. Mm -hmm. And so you need to know how to uh, develop a program that is appropriate for the country you operate in. And um, today I spoke on three main areas that mm -hmm. I felt that uh, we need to look at. Mm -hmm. And one was on capability. Okay. And in the areas of capability, what we find is that we are developing a lot of specialists, mm -hmm. which is very good. Mm -hmm. However, we also need people with breadth knowledge mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. If you want to be a leader in process safety, you need to have the breadth. Right. And so we need to have a fine balance between people with the breadth and people with depth. And that's something we need to look at. Mm -hmm. And also the other thing in capability that, um, that we feel is an area that we really need to work on is the Gen Y generation. Because the Generation Y are people who look mm -hmm. at things differently. Mm -hmm. They are very computer savvy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, they gone are the days where they walk around the plant yeah. because they see everything in the computer mm -hmm. and they feel that uh, it's good enough to look at the computer and they can tell a lot of things, which is true, they can, because plants are engineered so much in this mm -hmm. nowadays that you can really see all the things that are happening and you have, need to be um, intelligent about how you analyse your stuff, mm -hmm. but when you have problems, that's where wisdom comes into play. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so we need to try and work with the Gen Y and see how they look at things right. and to see how we can have the, that uh, interaction between the grey hairs and yeah. the Gen Y right. and have the best of both worlds. Right. The other area that uh, we feel is on operational excellence or they call it operational discipline. And here what we find is that we, most of our incidences are due to lapses in procedures mm -hmm. And, and experiences, uh, things that we feel could be better improved. And we feel that we need to put people to be more accountable mm -hmm. for areas that they are responsible in. And that's why we are looking at things like uh, hazards and effects registers to see mm -hmm. about barrier management, safety critical e equipment. Mm -hmm. How do we make people more responsible and accountable? And also, how do we get people, I think we need to look at how we do our performance contracts, because they tend to be individual, for the individual, mm -hmm. and it tends to be very, um, people tend to be very calculative after some time. Mm -hmm. We need to have the individual and the team activity factored into performance contracts. Yeah. And then thirdly, we need to look at process safety leadership, and it's not just having programs in leadership mm -hmm. and getting tools off the shelf, as it were. We need to really look at things like, we need to have a foundation first, and to me the foundation would be operational discipline, human factors, because human factors right. factor in just about everything. Mm -hmm. And if we have these two as our foundation, we can build up safety culture, process safety leadership. So the three areas, as I was saying, is capability, mm -hmm. operational discipline, and leadership, process safety leadership. Thank you, B. My next question will be, can you share with us a success story with us regarding process safety okay. management systems? If I, I could share what we've done in Petronas, we, okay. have, um, have, we have developed a training, a specialized training, skill group okay. training for our various uh, specialty areas. And what we've done is we've factored process safety into all the specialty areas like inspection, um, maintenance, uh, instrumentation, mm -hmm. 
electrical. Of course, they have safety components, but you need to surface it out so that people know that in all their various areas, they are responsible for safety critical elements, safety critical activity, and safety critical positions that they hold. Right. So we try to factor it in so that people realize that the bigger picture is every one of us have a role to play in process safety. Mm -hmm. It's not from a single person, a process safety expert. Exactly. Yes. Well, thank you. And lastly, uh, what advice can you offer others working in process safety to encourage leadership in a safety culture? I think process safety mm -hmm. is a very big picture and we all have a role to play. Mm -hmm. And we should always start from the basic that we should know our, our risks mm -hmm. and we should know what our, our main uh, control or barriers are mm -hmm. and we should know how they are maintained and we should look at it as a team activity, all mm -hmm. working together as a team mm -hmm. to manage our risks and to prevent the hazards from being exposed as it were. Mm -hmm. And we need to be able to work as a team and not to be an individualist. And if we can do that and we can talk more often to each other and not send emails and discuss things among ourselves with issues, incidents, I think it would be a better place. Thank you. Bea, thank you very much uh, for being our Lenten speaker today at the 10th Annual Global thank you. Uh, Congress of Process Safety. We certainly appreciate your participation. And thanks for participating in this interview. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.